Welcome everyone to the Digital Aztec and, and today I'm going to show you how to use Parallels with Linux. Um, you know, I, I was having a hard time uploading um, other than Ubuntu or Linux Mint, um, any other operating system. And what happens is I ha I'm using a Mac Mini and Mac Mini, the Ubuntu operating system is a little bit too heavy. I was using Linux Mint, but I wasn't able to do certain items that I want to do. Then I heard about Manjaro, and um, I'm I'm liking it a lot. I can configure it the way that I want. But this video is just going to show you how to uh, how to upload uh, Manjaro into into Parallels. How to utilize it with your Mac. So what I've done is I've already opened Parallels, and what you do is you just click on the little plus sign. Click on new. Of course, you enter your password. Then, uh, if you notice, it says install Windows or another operating system. And you just click on OK. Now, it's not going to be here. OK. Because it just has Windows, Linux, and Ubuntu, Linux. Um, those are the ones that I've uploaded in there. So, um, what I do is I just put locate manually. Now this might not work, but you can click on image while now I have it on my downloads. What I do is I just drag it in there. See, it didn't work. So don't worry, just click on continue and you select. Um, as you can see, it's not even there. So I just click on other Linux, click on OK. And this is where you're able to uh, you know, I'll, I'll call it Manjaro. Manjaro. I'll call it one because I already have Manjaro in there, but I'm going to get rid of that one because I just want to open box. Um, then from there, I look for the location. Okay, it's going to be on my downloads. And Manjaro. Okay, choose. looking for the operating system as you can see voila we have Manjaro and then from there we just start Manjaro Linux I read it too fast maybe I was able to install it from there but um, it's it's uploading it and you know this is where I was a little, I got stuck on um, you know the step be before this where you know it wasn't showing Manjaro, but um, you know you just ignore that, click on continue, and it'll take you straight to it. Now make sure that the file that you select, uh, make sure that that's the only operating system that's in there, because if not, it's gonna read two or three more operating systems. So as you can see, I'm able to access Manjaro, and then from there, of course, you do you do what you need to do as far as uploading it. So you can. You can either install Manjaro or install Manjaro through the um, the terminal. I like to upload it. I I like it walking me through the whole process. Um, you know, and I, you're able to select um, any which way you want to um, create your system. But uh, I'm going in there and just selecting it, and you know. As I'm doing this, keep in mind that that this is, you know, it's a virtual box. So, uh, what you're gonna now again, it, it really depends on what you have. Um, now, I'm talking to the people who have a small budget and they, um, you know, they don't have that much uh, money to buy the big systems and stuff. I have a Mac Mini, like I mentioned. And it's, um, you know, what I do is I try to just upload enough uh, programs that I need. For example, Manjaro, I'm just going to upload my multimedia software. Other than that, I leave it alone. Uh, Manjaro, you have to customize the system. In other words, it doesn't come with, the, like Ubuntu, it comes with Word, to Word or Word doc. 
documents and all this other stuff or other software picture software no I mean just upload what you need that way it makes it a very light operating system within your virtual box and um, what I like about this is it creates a two or three uh, pieces of software in the Linux system so if you need to customize for example something that you've already created on your Mac you can just simply go in there click on it upload it change it it's already on Windows and you update the Windows system so very fast but if you upload it you change the logo you change all this other stuff it's really gonna slow it down so again um, thank you for watching the digital last have a great day